I'm Dr. Jessie Lay, Extension Veterinarian and Assistant Professor here at Kentucky State University. I'm joined by Susan Miller. Susan and her husband George have a farm in Lincoln County. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about your farm? Yes, uh, like you said, we live in Lincoln County uh, along with my husband with two daughters. We have four and a half acre farm where we raise everything from A to Z and everything in between. I'm a third generation farmer, so uh, okay. outside of working full time uh, it's about all I've known. After my husband and I married uh, in 95, uh, and we moved about an hour from my parents, and uh, I was coming back more than I should have been, and my, my daddy said to my mother, She's, she's coming back if we don't give her a hobby. So they found me a hobby. <laughs> and so uh, he gave me about $100 mm -hmm. worth of equipment and my husband and I started farming the next year, just raising a little uh, vegetables on our own. And before long, we were buying a farm and, and doing it on ourselves. And it has put the girls through college or putting the girls through college and paying the bills and, and a little extra. And, and it always makes me feel good to know where my food's coming from. And uh, so we're, we're doing our farmer's market. We're doing roadside markets. We're doing restaurants. We're selling to black soil. We're selling to just, you know, different people as far as that. So uh, right. we love it. You know, I get to see you all the time at the KSU events. Um, tell us about, you know, some of your experiences working with Kentucky State. I've been working with Kentucky State since around 2012. In 2014, my husband and I was the small young farmer of the year, and uh, we've received a lot of grants from Kentucky State. We have did uh, the uh, small limited uh, resource grant uh, where we received $5,000 for the walk-in freezer. I have did uh, field days, uh, strawberry field days with uh, Mr. Uh, Edwin Chavis. Uh, we have did uh, sweet potatoes. Just about everything that I do with Kentucky State is uh, educational purposes. So we uh, collaborate with our local UK Extension office in Kentucky State and we'll bring our youth in at one of our churches where we'll do blood pressures and we'll do uh, farm services and just different things to bring the community get together. So I have worked a long time with Kentucky State. Well, we really appreciate okay. your yes. participation. Okay. Yes. So you mentioned you had the two daughters. So tell me a little bit about raising them um, on the farm and their interests and how they've helped and um, what their plans are. Uh, like you said, I have two daughters. Uh, they're 26 and 24. I raised them from birth. Uh, they've seen me working in the field. They've seen me working at school. They're, they've seen me uh, pulling it all together as one. At one point they were in high school and so they didn't have jobs so uh, we had to find a way for them to make money, whether or not it was going to the farmer's market, whether or not it was in the field, whether or not it was picking our cherry tomatoes or cucumbers or squash or zucchini. Uh, so they've, they've been raised on the farm just about all their lives. So over the years, so it's been, you know, you've been in the ag industry for, you know, all your life. Um, how have you seen the agriculture industry change for women? Well, back whenever I started farming some 20-something years ago, uh, farming was a man's world because right. most women, whenever I was a child, most women were cooking for their husbands and their hard hands. So most of the time you did not see women in, in the farm or working on the farm. So over the last 10 years, I've noticed that there's more and more women that are getting into uh, uh, vegetables, into farming in general. Uh, I've met uh, a lot of women, and that's why I appreciate going to uh, conferences, is because I know at that point what other people are doing. Uh, Ashley Smith with Black Soil, she's uh, introduced uh, uh, black women and women in general to the land. So I'm able to collaborate with her and Tiffany Elamine with just different uh, women uh, through Zoom or in person just to say, hey, you know, I've got uh, women out here that I can collaborate with instead of calling my brother or calling Travis or calling whoever. So I've enjoyed over the last five or six years to be able to do that. So what advice do you have for young women? My advice would be uh, making sure that your credit is really good and, you know, follow your dream. I always, you know, uh, me and myself, I've always uh, uh, followed that dream and I always wanted to farm and I've always wanted to do it. So, you know, I am living my dream over the next 18 months. I'm hoping that when I do retire that I'll be able to come to the farm and do it full time. So, you know, I tell young women, just, just follow your dream and go for it. Right. Like I said, your farm is so impressive. Um, thank you for being here today. And like I said, on International Women's Day, we want to celebrate you and we want to celebrate all the women that are out there working in the agriculture industry, um, working to advance the industry forward. 
Happy International Women's Day and stay tuned for more programming on women in agriculture. Thank you for joining us.